regression of advanced fibrosis or cirrhosis on patients treated for hepatitis C virus uh, followed by fibro scan scores. The goal of the study was actually to um, estimate how many patients regress fibrosis or advanced cirrhosis, how long it takes to regress, and predict um, regression based on laboratories, clinical findings, uh, based on characteristics and complications from cirrhosis. We found a 60% 60, 60 overall improvement rate in patients with base and advanced fibrosis and, and cirrhosis with a greater improvement rate in those with advanced fibrosis in comparison to those with cirrhosis. Um, we found that the time to follow up or the time to improvement was 2.5 years, uh, but the follow up time was very uh, broad, anywhere between 6 months up to 14 years. We had multiple parts to our study. We initially identified the subjects that were eligible for our particular study. Then we consented them. And then we did fiber scans at six month intervals. And then we did a retrospective and a prospective review of complications from cirrhosis and development of hepatocellular carcinoma. So basically the treatment for each person for hepatitis C just depended on their primary provider you know, choices. 45% of them were treated with some form of sofosfibir regimen and about 29% were treated with some form of telaprobir based regimen and then the rest were either part of a clinical study or other some of the older regimens uh, interferon based. And that's exactly the, 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 the whole goal of the study, to try to figure out what do we do after SVR? Do we have to continue worrying about these patients in terms of their progression to cirrhosis? Do we have to continue screening them for hepatocellular carcinomas? It's, these were some of the bigger clinical questions that we wanted to answer. Um, like I said, I can tell you that uh, in the group that started with advanced fibrosis at basin, there was a, a, an almost 70% improvement rate on the patients that had cirrhosis at basin. There was an about 55% improvement rate. And when I say an improvement rate, I mean at least by one stage of fibrosis. So those that started with cirrhosis could mean that they went down to advanced fibrosis. Those that started with advanced fibrosis, they went down to at least fibrosis stage 2, with many of our patients actually going back to completely normal liver uh, by elastography. It means that we can tell our patients, you will get better, your liver will improve. Um, we don't have answers yet in terms of what do we do for screening of hepatocellular carcinoma. In our follow-up, we only had five patients that had HCC at the end of our time of follow-up. Two of them were cirrhotic at basin and did not improve, so it really doesn't change much. One of them uh, progressed from advanced fibrosis to cirrhosis, and that leaves only two subjects of interest, one of which developed HCC at six months after uh, sustained virologic response, and at that time he was still in the advanced fibrosis category, so we'd still expect an HCC at that stage and the second one had an HCC at basin when he was cirrhotic. So um, we don't have the answer yet for hepatocellular carcinoma but we have more patients pending follow-up. We have about 110 patients that were not included in the current analysis and we're hoping to follow these patients much longer uh, time and hopefully we can answer that question which is perhaps the most important clinical question. I would say this information is mostly for hepatologists, uh, but as the world of hepatitis C continues to evolve as quickly as it has been evolving in the last uh, few years, this may become an issue that pertains as well to general practitioners as well. They should know that after SVR is achieved, about 60% patients will regress uh, by at least one stage of fibrosis. Most patients that have chronic hepatitis C are very experienced patients. These are tend to be patients that have been waiting for many years for the right treatments, and they tend to know more than you can explain to them in the initial visit. So, so they, they tend to know. And those who don't know, I personally do walk them through the entire process that it takes uh, to get from a completely healthy liver all the way to a, to a liver with decompensated cirrhosis, basically. There was a very nice study that was presented today at the same session that I presented um, with some of the expectations for the future and what we expect to see is that most patients will be treated and hopefully in the next, I don't know, 15, 20 years we'll be able to say that we cured hepatitis C.